How's it going guys? This is Haunt Central and today we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the Haunt build for 2022. So sorry about the fact that this video isn't coming out until now. I know a lot of people have been requesting to see it and I actually just revealed the themes the other day. The reasoning that I didn't do much many videos this year is um, because it's been a lot harder to build than it normally is. The displays this year are a lot more advanced than they normally are um, with the addition of the walkthrough section, which we'll get to in the back theme. And I kind of just wanted to save it all as a surprise too for you guys to see, but I'm ready to get into it and show you everything that we have for this year for the 2022 season. So. Starting right here in the front, as you can see, the theme for this year is the Haunt Central Mining Co. Now, this is kind of a continuation from last year with the train station um, leading into a mining theme. Uh, I was between a lot of different themes this year, but with the help of Cameron John, shout out to him, I was able to completely decide on the on 100% what theme I wanted to do and. Uh, the mining theme, I think, was going to be the coolest one. Um, I had a lot of ideas for it, and not all of them came to be true, but, and just know I am not that happy with how this year turned out, but I am pretty happy at the same time, though. So as, as you walk in here, we have Hunt Central Mining Co. Now we just have this spotlight on it so that this is actually, you can, I can just turn it off whenever I want to so that we can focus more on the flame lights. Um, the flame lights are one of my favorite parts of this year. The fact that we have um, the two flames right in the front there when you walk in, that light is interfering with it. Um, it looks a lot better in person. That garage light is interfering with, uh, with it just shining on the video. So um, it looks a lot better in person, but front and center here when you walk in, we have first Miserable Marie. And uh, these risers are actually from Spirits Factory last year. I bought these, these were about $4.99 each. Hell of a good deal for them. Um, and they look great in the front here. Uh, they originally were turned the other way, but um, due to space, we had to turn them back this way. But of course we have Miserable Marie here. And we have step pads hooked up to all the animatronics um, since we have more of an interactive display. So for those of you that don't know, we do a annual display benefiting Roswell Park that opens usually around mid-September and is open till November 1st. Um, it functions as more of an interactive display rather than a walkthrough haunted house. That's always kind of, it was inspired by spirit and that's always kind of how I've done my displays. And then we also knew for, this will be the third year with this, we have a large, it's actually larger than it's ever been, store section this year. Now that money is profit, it goes to us and um, not really profit though, we use it for the following season to buy the materials to make the displays. So the money that's donated goes to Roswell Park. We make about a thousand a year on that. And then all the sales money, um, we pay our suppliers the percentage they need to make it, to break even, and then we keep the rest to build these displays every year. So just wanted to get that ramble out of the way. Uh, sorry about that for those of you that haven't seen these videos before, but um, next front and center here, this is a new one for the haunt this year. I got her at the half off sale last year. This is Evelyn Leach. <laughs> Sorry, I have the volume turned down pretty low. May come as a surprise to you that she was one of my favorites last year. Um, did I think she was worth two hundred dollars? No, I don't. I don't think she is, which is why I got her at the half off sale for a hundred dollars, which isn't a bad price at all for her. She is five point five feet tall, so not a horrible height, and it really gives me like the haunted mansion vibe at Disney World. So I like her. I didn't have. She's unique. I didn't have any bride animatronics, so figured I'd give her a try. So entering through the archway here, this is actually wallpaper that we got off of Amazon. This is actual like real wallpaper that you would use inside of a house that we wrapped around these this year um, to make these stone columns. As you can see, they're pretty large. 
probably about seven foot tall. So not too large, but at the same time, not too small. They're, I think they're the perfect height. And then we got some electrical up there that controls the front here. And with the flip of the switch, I can turn off the entire, um, I'm not gonna do it now, but I can turn off the entire archway here. Now, something to mention also is that similar to Spirit, we sell parts of our displays on November 1st. So of course it'll be here Halloween night, November 1st. The store section is 50% off and then we sell, we will sell these archway. We'll sell this entire archway this year, um, meaning the sign and the two stone columns. We won't sell the flame lights or the animatronics or the platforms, obviously, but all, everything is priced fairly for what you get out of it. Um, and we sold out of everything last year. And so very, I've seen some people are enjoying it and are using it for their haunts this year for Halloween night for trick or treating. Um, the guy that bought the, um, the station sign last year and the platforms is using that to make his own display this year. So it's always good to see when your stuff goes into good use. Um, and I actually, this box is kind of annoying me. The, these are boxes stacked on top of each other. Um, that is kind of annoying me because they are kind of crooked inside there, but there's no way to really fix them now, unfortunately. So on the other side here going down um, is dead humor. A little side note that animals crate is super annoying. <laughs> I accidentally stepped on that, but there's the classic dead humor. Actually, keep him in the off position here. Keep him like that for now. These animal crates are really annoying. It seems that I got one with a misprint here because it's upside down on this side, but right side up on that side. And no matter what, if I put it, if I put that side on the other side and it's upside down on the front, and then it's right side up at the back. Don't know what exactly happened there. I must have just gotten one of them with a misprint from my store last year. So that's unfortunate, but not the hugest deal. Um, and then we have the Spirit Acres Farm crates here supporting dead humor. They're on each side. And then on the other side, we also have one here that's supporting Rising Reaper. So if you don't know what he does, he's very similar to dead humor. He just goes down and rises up basically the classic rise from the grave prop i got him for twenty dollars at target a few years back so not a bad not a bad price at all um excuse the mess in here so then when you get into here this is supposed to be the mining facility up in the front here front and center here when you walk in we have inferno reaper yes no maybe there we go So there he is. He was a huge hit last year, one of our most popular ones. Um, his size, if you haven't seen him, is absolutely incredible, especially on a riser. Um, and for $200 from Home Depot, they really had a smash hit on this one. This one was blew me away for how good of quality it is for $200. Um, what's really big on him is his scythe is absolutely massive. Um, it actually comes in like three different pieces and just to get it out here i have to take it apart so um that's that and then of course here we have the classic brown jumping spider this was my first jumping spider he jumps really really fast so um i gotta get something to weigh him down in the back there because yeah he jumps really really fast we have lighting that uh this we have blue red and green lighting up on the front here with the clowns um i'm gonna go he does not have a step pad yet so i'm gonna go ahead and turn him on just constant for a second um but of course hugs the clown turn that light off for a second for you guys it's motion so it'll just keep going but there's hugs the clown he's on constant motion so i'll give him one more code here He's another fan favorite here at the haunt. Um, he gets a ton of attention with the whole hugging aspect. Okay, you can stop now. Um, see how long it takes that light to turn on. Maybe we can get some footage. Oh, almost tripped there. Maybe we, see, we can get some footage in without uh, that annoying light. But here is the one and only towering clown right next to Hugs. I'll actually turn these lights on here so you guys can see what it looks like in the dark. 
this one not working here? There we go. There we go. So uh, you can see that they look pretty cool next to each other here. Right there, of course, is Towering Clown. We have a sign here, Caution, Killer Clowns. So those two are right next to each other and they look absolutely phenomenal right next to each other. Um, over here, I don't have him on right now because he gets really annoying really fast, but um, is sitting Scarecrow. I guess I could give him a go here. Here's sitting Scarecrow, maybe. There he is. Have him hooked up to the button. Oh, yep, there he is. He does that annoying click when he goes down. I'm not sure why, but it's not a huge deal. Um, so there he is right there. And I'm going to just shut these lights off and then we'll move to the other side. And moving to the other side here, um, you get a good view of the main structure of this theme. Now, uh, if you have a good eye, you may have realized that this is inspired from the Spirit Acres Farm in 2018, which is one of my favorite ISEs to date. I've always loved the Spirit Acres Farm, just the vibe of it. Um, the water tower is one of my favorite parts this year. Now, this water tower may not look too big in the video, but this thing, trust me, is massive. It, it, it looks so cool. It turned out way better than I thought it would. Um, that's actually just snow fence as a frame. And then with a, um, we got custom boarding made for it, wrapped that around, and then wrote water on it. Um, and we're all actually gonna sell that for $30 at the end of the year. Um, Cause that's about, took us about $40 to make it. So we're gonna, we're going to sell it for $30 at the end of the season. That'll go to a lucky home. Um, and then it is on top of an actual tower right there, hard hat area. Then entering into here, spider infestation. We have a giant spider up there. And then this is on motion. There's a jumping spider right here. I have him off right now because he's been real annoying, but classic black red jumping spider jumping out of the spider webbing here. I'm gonna put more spider webbing on here. Just haven't gotten around to it. Then we have the cage skeleton right here. He's actually from Walgreens 2015. So he's an oldie, but a goodie. Just kind of a good filler there. Um, and then we have the, still haven't fixed his jaw, but we have the skeleton <laughs> vampire here. I really do enjoy pets, especially cats. That's his hat there. They are delicious. <laughs> yes, I know his jaw is broken. I've been working on trying to fix it. I did realize what's wrong today, um, and I can possibly fix it after that because I can see what's going on, that it's dislocated a bit. Just, uh, I'm going to work on that, take him into the workshop at some point before opening it. I'm going to work on that, and hopefully some point in the season I'll be able to get that jaw working again because at work that looks absolutely ridiculous. But uh, that's pretty much it for the front theme. The front theme isn't too big this year. Um, the back theme is my favorite part this year. That's what I'm going to show you guys right now. Okay, so that light is actually staying off, which is nice because that gives a really good look at the back theme here. But... Here it is, guys. The back theme is my absolute favorite part this year. And the back display is the Haunt Central Mining Co. Um, and this is the mining shaft. So it's like a cave slash shaft theme. I've always wanted to do a cave theme. And um, although it may not look too much like a cave, I do really, really like how this one turned out, especially the inside, which we'll get to in just a minute here. Um, but going in order here at the props, on the end right here, we have Demonic Dahlia. She is probably my best scare, believe it or not. Those in the jumping spider. And then up next here, we have Abandoned Annie. Please play with me. I'm so lonely. I won't be anymore now that you're here. Stay with me. She's one of my favorites, and back in 2019 with a coupon, I got her for only $100, so not a bad price at all. Um, this one's new to the haunt this year, and I have a feeling it's going to be a really good scare and hit. This is the one and only Nightcrawler. Now, a lot of people ask why I bought this one. Um, 
Mostly because I've wanted it for the last couple of years and just never got around to buying it. So I finally decided to when I went to Spirit a couple weeks ago. But he is working great. <laughs> Shout out to Gino Hunter, Justin, um, good friend of mine. He's a huge fan of this guy. Um, he's, of course, from the cave theme in 2020. And he looks really cool in the dark. He also um, creates a really cool shadow. But um, unfortunately, with how the lighting is in here, we um, can't really get that shadow effect going. Then right here up next is Rocking Horse Dolly. Um, now she can't rock because I have a piece of wood stopping her from rocking because she rocks mine anyways rocks so much that it will rock right off the display which isn't overly good. Yes it's happened several times in the past which is what's prompted us to put that underneath there. So that's the reason that that's there. And then right here we have my favorite prop that I still my favorite prop that I own little skelly bones. getting a little squeaky there but he's not swinging like he used to unfortunately there we go yeah he doesn't really swing like he used to but he's a classic um this is actually many people have requested that i put him in the back display this is his first year in the back display as you can see we got really crafty with how we were going to hang him here this is actually a pipe from home depot and then it had just attached to a um, series of two by fours back here and we have a sign that says caution falling rocks and then right there on the end we have the black and red jumping spider i know it's hard to see right now with the lighting but that is the black and red jumping spider that i purchased last year that i purchased last year from spirit I'm running out of phone storage here, so we're going to speed this up a little bit. But um, right there is the Haunt Central Mining Co. sign right there in the middle. No idea why that just activated, but um, with the skeleton right above it. So like I said, this is the mining shaft, and this is my favorite part of the haunt for this year. And I'm about to show you now. This is the mining shaft right here. Now, it's not completely finished in here but it's getting pretty close we still are going to put some stone on the sides here so it looks more like a um, sh more like a mine like a cave but we have chains here what Nate would call it swinging chains of death and then we have all the spotlights strobing from spirits factory last year along with the lava tiles or pumpkin gut tiles um, Really just wanted to put these into the display this year. I know it doesn't make a whole lot of sense of why they're back here, but really just wanted to include these in the display this year. But um, those are there, and then some more chains. And then that um, is the speaker that plays sound effects. Uh, I'll include a sound effect clip right here, actually. So that's what the sound effects are like in there. Um, but like I said, the back theme is easily my favorite of the two this year. I love how it turned out. It's one of my favorites to date. Um, I know that this year may not make complete sense with the theming and the prop choices and everything, but it is for Roswell. It is homemade. It is a garage. And um, like I said, I'm not that happy with it this year. Oh, that light finally turned on. But... I'm happy enough to open it to the public and show you guys what it looks like. So that being said, I hope you enjoyed um, a little update here. Sorry again that there hasn't been a video prior to this, but I hope you guys enjoyed. And as always, happy hauntings. I'll see you guys in the next Halloween 2022 video.